Hey, this is Chris with another episode of Airgun Boot Camp. Today we're going to be talking about weighing, sorting, and sizing the pellets. You don't have to be a professional shooter to weigh and sort your pellets. Even if you're a novice and just having fun, it's still a really good way to get a little bit more accuracy. Weighing, sorting, and sizing your pellets can give you that edge over the competition. Weighing and sorting pellets is a great way to not have flyers, right? So say you're shooting some 18.13s. In that, in that can, there's gonna be outliers all the way up to 18.20, down to 18 grain. And what's important is to find a grain that is consistent. It doesn't need to necessarily be the same number every single time, but within a couple tenths of a grain, it can be really important. So you say you have an 18.20 one shot, and then you have an 18.05 the next shot, those are gonna be a little bit different and that can cause you from being that 10X just to a 10, right? So when you're in a match, especially 25 meter, 50 meter, that counts. It is incredibly you know, important to get that 10X and set yourself up for success. So when we're weighing pellets, we're really looking for a common pellet for that match. So, you know, sometimes you'll be like the 18.20, 18.19, uh, those will all go together. Those are close enough that they're all gonna shoot really well. What you don't want is you don't want a bunch of 1805s mixed in there because those will become flyers when you don't want them. So the reason we're doing this is to have consistent grain on every pellet that we're shooting to increase accuracy. So what I do here is I turn my scale on and the scale that I am using is I just got it off of uh, Amazon. So the important part is the, it needs to be a jewelry scale that has number one, grain, it weighs for grain, and then two goes to two decimal points. That way, you know, 1.82 can also be too close to 1.81 if there's nothing behind it, right? So you want two decimal places so you can get a more accurate. So what we're gonna do is I have this on grain already. So you'll take a pellet, when weighing your pellets, you want your scale on a really flat surface because then it's gonna give you the most consistent uh, weights. So I'll put one on the scale here, 18.16. So you'll see here, I have four categories. I have 18.20, 18.15, 18.10, and 18.05. Now what I'm doing is I'm separating them by five if you do want to go more and have, you know, 1819, 1818, 1816, you absolutely can. This is basically just weighing for the super outliers from 20 to 5 and the ones you don't want to get mixed in. You can always go more in depth. So this one here is 1816. So I would put that right here because it's the closest to 1815. And get another one. 1828. So this is what I would call a massive outlier. This is not really gonna go into any of these. So what I like to do is I'll just put this one to the side, and then this is gonna be my outliers or my test group. So now I'm not gonna use that pellet for competition. I'm gonna be testing, or if I'm plinking, you know, I'll put it into a different can for a different use. This is not a competition pellet for me. So we'll just keep on going from there. All right, 1822, perfect. So I'll go right here in the 1820 because it's close enough there. About plus or minus two on each side is where you'll want to be when you're doing something like this. All right, another 1816, good. So now we have two 1816s in there. Now this is going to be uh, maybe the majority, right? Because these jumbo heavies are supposed to be 18.13. So in between, here is where that center is supposed to be. So you might have a little here and a little here. Now, I'll do one more of these. 1814, and also gonna go in here. So you'll notice when you're weighing, it's gonna start having a really big pattern. You know, it, most of them are gonna land within here with your outliers being this way. And then you have your massive outliers like this, 1828. You're just gonna use it as a test pellet. This is not gonna go into competition for you. So after we uh, have weighed and sorted all these pellets, there's gonna be quite a few. What I like to do is separate your cans. So these are 30 grain or 30 caliber. These are my competition pellets. Uh, so what I do is I just write, write the grain 
onto the can and I separate the cans. So then I know, hey, all of these 44.8. So then I don't have to think about it. I just grab and go. Once you're done weighing and sorting all of them, then you can go to head size. So this is what's called a pellet gauge right here. Uh, they're really, really cool product. So you see it has all the different head sizes all the way from 5.48 to 5.53. So in the 22 caliber, this has all the different head sizes. So how you use this product is that you'll put it in, it doesn't fit, right? So what you're doing is this circle right here gradually gets larger and this head size will eventually fall through. So you'll try it again, no, and it should be very simple. When you find the proper head size, it's just gonna go straight down. There should be no pressing, nothing like that. So try this one, no, pops right in. So that means that this pellet's head size is 554. So now if you wanna take it one more step, you take all your 18 two O's, 18, 19, 18, 18s, and then you size them by head size as well. So then you'd have a little another pile that says 554 head size. And then you just put that one over there and continue doing it with the ones that you've already weighed and sorted. So that was just a little bit on pellet sorting and weighing and doing the head size. Weighing and sorting pellets can really help you in a competition. It just gives you that little edge over the rest of your opponents, especially mentally. If I know that all of my pellets are the same size and weight, I know that if there's a flyer, it's honestly me, I, it's not the pellet. So I'm comforted in the fact that I know that I already did my due diligence to weigh and sort. So I know I can perform the best that I can with the skills that I have. So in your next competition, maybe try this. Maybe, you know, try to see what your gun likes a little bit more. Your gun could like a heavier 18 or it could like a lower 18. Once you find what it likes, then you can weigh and sort and it can be a little bit more accurate for your next match. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Airgun Bootcamp. Thanks for watching.